This is Ian. I've been a selling on Amazon for over 20 years, eight of them as a professional seller. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a Prime exclusive discount for Amazon Prime Day 2024. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and subscribe and let's get started. So we are on the Prime exclusives discounts page. To get to this page, go to the hamburger menu on Amazon Seller Central, upper left corner, go to advertising and then select Prime exclusive discounts and you should come to this page. If you don't see that as a menu option or you are unable to, to uh, create a discount, it could mean a couple things. It could mean your account is not set up for Prime exclusive discounts or maybe you're operating in a different market. But this is assuming you are able to set up a Prime exclusive discount uh, for your branded products, that, which is what I'm gonna do. One other thing you should do before you get started on doing this is actually prepare the SKUs in your catalog that you want to put as a discount. One very important thing to understand is that the when you set up a Prime exclusive discount for Prime Day 2024, you really should have enough inventory in stock. You can see I'm not a big seller, but um, it's actually well within Amazon's kind of sales data for the past 30 days. The other thing you need to pay attention to is if you've been running coupons or other sales on a particular SKU, I would not put it in the Prime exclusive discount for Prime Day 2024. The reason why is because there's requirements about the lowest price and Amazon may force you to slash the price to something that just doesn't make any sense anymore. And then finally, one other thing I'd like to say, I'm gonna press the Create Discount button because I wanna show you something here about the guidelines. These guidelines over here, they've changed since last year. I actually looked at last year's 2023, my Prime Day video guide, and it says here that at the time in 2023, product must have at least a 3.5 star rating or no rating. The difference now is that product must have at least one review with an average rating of at least four stars. So this means brand new products with no ratings won't be able to do a prime exclusive discount. And that's a huge bummer for a lot of sellers out there who've just launched something and they just want to give, they want to give this product some gas. So pay attention to all these guidelines. It's confusing. They're talking about, you know, the discount must be at most 80% of the non-prime member, non-promotional price. Um, it has to be lower than the 15% lower than the reference price. So there's all these different requirements. And oftentimes what I found actually is when I set up a Prime exclusive discount for Prime Day, I'll create the discount and then Amazon will give me an error message. So the other thing you have to remember, when you set, even after you set up this discount, come back a couple days later to make sure that it's okay to go. And then finally, we don't know when Prime Day is going to be. Um, I, I've seen some indications that it's probably going to be in May or June, but I'm not sure about that. So anyways, I'm just going to call this Prime Day spring 2024 and then i've already chosen three products that are going to be in in a prime day and basically i'm setting up separate uh, discount details for each one basically so i can track them a little bit a little bit more easily so i'm just going to call this blue that's the name of the pro that's kind of the nickname i have for the product and then i'm going to set up the disc i'm just going to mention the discount 25 percent you have to actually spell out percent if you use the percent symbol you'll get an error message and then this is important is this a Prime Day discount? You need to select that. Don't try to start do the start date and the, and the end date because uh, that will cause uh, conflicts. And importantly, if you tell Amazon that's a Prime Day discount, Amazon will start to feed the discount into all of its promotions. So online promotions on the website, on the app, emails that it sends out to people. So you definitely wanna make sure that you select this so Amazon knows that you're setting this up for Prime Day. So save and add products, and then you come to this page. Um, you can have a maximum of 500 SKUs, uh, and then you can enter up to 30 SKUs at a time on this page, or you can bulk upload SKUs using our upload template. I'm a small seller. I don't have hundreds of products. I don't use these templates. So basically, I, I just use this web form. It's pretty straightforward. So go to your FBA inventory, find the SKU. So I can take this SKU right here, and then I'm going to paste it right into here. Now the default is amount off. That means that the uh, number of dollars, I'm actually gonna do percentage off. I think percentage looks better because it's always bigger than the amount, at least for the products that I sell. And set it for 25%. And then the minimum price. This is important. This trips up a lot of people. You may think that, oh, well, you know, uh, my, my product, it's $100. So if it's 25% uh, off, that means the minimum price is $75. That's wrong. Amazon always wants a little bit of extra buffer room. So usually what you need to do is even if the prime discount is 25% off, you need to make the minimum price like, you know, 27 or 28% off. So in this particular case, I'm going to set it up to this price. This is way more than 25%, but I found that if I set it right at 25%, I always get an error message. Even now it's giving me a red line here. So I'm, I'm curious about what, what it spotted there. And then I'm just going to submit products.
Okay, so it's showing up there. It brought in the right uh, ASIN for that. It says it's scheduled, it looks okay. But what I'm going to do, um, actually before I do that, just pay attention to these warnings because sometimes they're pretty important. Please note that setting up both Prime exclusive discounts and Prime exclusive best deals in the same SKU can result in both promotions getting suppressed. The other thing I'd like to warn people about is if you have a coupon running at the same time as a Prime, a Prime Day a discount, sometimes Amazon will stack them up if, as long as you're meeting all the policy. And then you'll see in the Amazon Seller Central forums some, some poor people saying, oh my God, you know, my, my item was discounted like 70%. And they're just getting reamed on that because they're basically selling it below cost. So you really have to make sure that you're using kind of a product that hasn't been discounted recently, is doesn't have an active discount, and you're not doing multiple discounts at the same time, either because it's going to cause both of the discounts to be disqualified or it'll stack them. And either one of those is bad. So I'm going to look at my my dashboard here. So it, these are the two that I've set up today, and I'm going to set up another one later on. And it says Prime Day Start, Prime Day End. Um, it doesn't show the exact day for Prime Day because Amazon doesn't want to tell people when Prime Day is stay, is taking place. They want to control that. Um, but anyways, this is basically all set to go for these two particular items. I'm going to check back again tomorrow and the next day because sometimes if there's a problem, it'll say status uh, error or you know uh, suppressed or something like that. Then I have to come, at, come in and figure out what it is. But anyways, that's the basics of setting up a Prime Day discount if you're an Amazon seller. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it or subscribe. And then if you go to my website, leanmedia.org, click on blog, I'll have tons of stuff about Amazon. I've been doing this for a long time. I just like to share my expertise and I hope it helps you too. Thank you so much for watching.